So, you're looking to grow some mushrooms for home use. First, you'll need to harvest or gather logs. For this, you'll need to find a log suitable for the mushroom species you want to grow. There are varying opinions on what logs work best, but so long as you don't use softwoods such as spruce, pine, or fir, or fruit trees such as apple or cherry, you should have some success. Hardwoods like aspen, maple, beech, oak, poplar, or birch all work well. It depends on what grows naturally in your area. You're going to want to look for logs between 10 to 20 centimeters thick and chop them to about a meter long. The logs can be harvested at any time, although it's often recommended to chop down the log in the fall or the spring when temperatures are below freezing at night and above freezing in the day. The best logs to use are between 2 weeks and 6 months old and have no rot whatsoever. The following step is to soak the logs. This is not absolutely necessary, but it does help the mycelium colonize the logs if the logs are already moist. You can do this by floating the logs in a lake, a pond, or kiddie pool, or just spraying them down with your backyard garden hose. Next, drill holes all over the log, approximately 10 centimeters apart. Some people drill their holes in a pattern, but it doesn't really matter so long as there is a suitable number of holes. Use a drill bit that's nearly the same size as your dowel so that you get a nice tight fit with the mushroom plug. Holes should be about 2.5 centimeters deep, or just deep enough to fully take in the plug. Do as best you can to clear the remaining sawdust and wood chips from the holes to make sure there is room for the plugs. Next, you're going to want to inoculate the log. You'll do this by pounding the mycelium plugs into the holes. They should be too tight to push in by hand, but can be gently pounded in with a hammer or a mallet. This part of the process is downright satisfying to do. Next, you're going to want to wax over the plugs. In order to prevent the plugs from drying out, you'll need to cover the freshly inoculated holes with wax. Paraffin or beeswax both work great. Heat the wax until it's malleable enough to spread, and then place a fair-sized glob over the hole. Use a spreading tool so as not to burn your fingers. Some growers also like to cover the ends of the log to prevent moisture loss, but this isn't 100% necessary. Next, it's just time to sit back and wait for your mushrooms. Once inoculated, place the logs in a shady spot so they can colonize. You can cover them with a shade cloth or a burlap, but if you have a suitable location, just lay them down and let them go at it. The important part is that they don't get blasted with direct sunlight and stay relatively moist. Following these instructions, you'll be able to grow your own mushrooms for home use.